Yeah. <laughs> we are officially live right now. So wait a sec. Before you start, I gotta introduce you to the world. Hello, world. <laughs> this is my daughter Brittany, and today we're tie dyeing, and we got all these different cool colors uh, cool patterns. and patterns. And what we did, we went online, and we found out a bunch of different patterns and different ways to tie it up. This is what now. That's classic. the that's the classic, classic swirl spiral. spiral. Um, this is supposed to be a mandala. I don't know if it's really going to work like that. Okay. But, uh, it's crisscross on both sides. Okay. Um, this is a scrunch from corner to corner. Uh huh. And this I'm going to try with the um, triangles. On it. Yeah, for a pattern. Okay, so. All right. Rocket. Classic swirl. Classic. And that's the cerulean blue or yeah. turquoise? Um, this is the turquoise. Okay. The beauty of tie dye is it doesn't have to be perfect. Probably the less perfect it is, the more cool it's going to look. Right. So, what are you just doing it those two colors, white and blue, or are you going to? Okay. Yeah, I was looking online and uh, we, we saw this one and it looks really cool. After they put the first color on it, it was just blue and the white and it looked really cool. Yeah, it's a good thing we have gloves. See what I'm saying? Hey, Kim, uh, this is my daughter, Brittany. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I see what you're saying. That would look cool though if you put pink in it too, but yeah, that's fine. I think that's great. That's gonna look cool. So what I did on these, you can imagine a, a t-shirt unfolded and uh, you know, just laid out like, like fully out. And uh, I laid a string down across and then just rolled the string all the way up and then pulled it together where it kind of scrunches right here and then tied it on the bottom. So we'll give that one a shot. So what we do with these tie dyes is uh, we end up wrapping them up in a bag for at least eight to 12 hours. And then you take it in the sink and you, you rinse it out until basically all the tie, uh, tie dye comes out of the water, you know, so when you're looking at the water, you know, if there's no more blue in this one, for example, it's ready. Better what? Oh, yeah. I'm, well, you, what you should do, though, you want to wrap it up, though, in a, a yeah, a good bag, you know, a bag without dye in it. So. Yeah, because it scrunched it at the bottom, and I don't think it'll have that cool cross pattern on the bottom part. It's going to look awesome. I guarantee it's going to look perfect. So, that's turquoise. The colors we're working with, uh, this one is cerulean blue. Uh, this one we have brown and we have pink here. So turquoise, cerulean blue, brown and pink. So yeah, the reason I got, I got brown was one of the tie-dye shirts I had a while ago. It got so old that I can't wear it anymore. But, uh, Oops, <laughs> fail. <laughs> Oops, I just got pink on mine. I, I guess I'm doing pink on mine. <laughs> pink and, what do you yeah. think? Pink and what? Um, the pink and the cerulean. Cerulean blue, okay, let's do that. This is a, just a muscle shirt. So I'm just gonna go like that. And then, where's the cerulean? Blue. Is that it? No. Okay. So Britt's working on hers over here. Yeah, I have no issues wearing pink. I'm not one of those guys who cares about that crap. I think that's going to look pretty cool. 
and that's looking marvelous. So, let's flip it over. Oh, that looks great, huh? Kind of did make a purple together. That looks fantastic. You're going to dig that. That's awesome. It's awesome. So, do a little bit more here. A little there. And, yeah, the pink's pretty cool. A little there. A little like that. What do you guys think? Is that good to go? Yeah. All right, so Britt, what are you doing on this one? Um, I'm going to try to go one for one kind of style. Oh, nice. Yeah. We got 46 people watching. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I'm going to try to put this one in a bag. Oops. <laughs> oh, God. So, <laughs> so far, that's, that's going to be my tank top and so sorry about the city camera <laughs> but you just put it inside of a bag or throw it on the grass while you're trying to put it in the bag and you just fold it up real tight and let it sit yeah it's gonna look cool so what what other color are you gonna use um i think it's my oh apparently i'm doing pink on this one <laughs> yep Yeah. Oops, I just got dye on my pants. <laughs> <laughs> you got it on your leg. Yep. Yeah. Fun of dyeing the ties. Yes. I think I'm going to have to get more plastic bags. That's a, an N5D shirt. This one Brittany's making oh, for Cameron. I have, I have um, my first one was an N5D. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, my second one, my pink and my blue was an N5D. It's the okay. same white, and this is an N5D. Cool. It'll be perfect. I don't think you can mess up tie dye. The beauty of tie dye is you can't really. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. The more imperfect it is, the better it probably looks. Yeah. I feel like they have to be super saturated. Look, I did spray a lot of blue on there, and uh -huh. yeah, it's still soaking it all up. Yeah. And that that's important too when you're doing tie dye. You want to make sure you're using cotton. Super saturated. And pre-wash them. I'm going to put the camera there on you, and I'm going to grab some more plastic bags. The hard part about this, though, is they have the logos for the N5Ds, so we're not sure how it will come out over the screen printing, but we're hoping it will come out very nice. I'm sure we'll update you all tomorrow. All right. Saying I don't know how it will come out over the screen printing for the N5D logos, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Very earthy, brown and blue. I, I, these these colors, two colors together, are just fantastic. Like I said, I had I think at my my last shirt. That I really, really fell in love with was turquoise and brown. It was very earthy, and I just loved the colors. It's two colors that you don't really see very often. Yeah. That's going to look really cool. All Kim says Brittany's doing a great job. I agree. Yeah, sure. Um, I think I'm going to do pink on my 
What I want you to do after this is hold the camera. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to show you guys now is this. This looks pretty cool. It's a medium shirt. I don't think it's going to fit me anyway, but I'll probably end up cutting off the sleeves if it does. But it's a medium shirt, and this is one of the things that they did online from one of the tutorials that we saw. So what you do is just lay it out like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. None of this has to be perfect. And you start in the middle. I should, you know, I should probably do it the other way around with the logo underneath. So that. We just kind of scrunch it up from the center toward and bring it from the outside back into the center like that. This one's so simple and basic, too. It's like one of the easiest ways to tie-dye. So basically, that's it. And all you got to do is add the tie-dye to it. So, I have pink and cerulean blue. I think I'm going to do the brown and blue like you do. I think the brown and blue looks nice together. The brown and the, the brown cer cerulean? Or? Yeah. The brown and turquoise. <laughs> I think I did cerulean on my brown and blue. So there's the brown. I kind of like how the holes in the top kind of give it a splatter look too. Yeah. Oops. And turquoise. Very earthy looking shirt. That turquoise is really nice. So, I'll just show you real quick what this looks like so far. Kind of looks like a cow. A little <laughs> bit. Add more blue to it. It looks nice. But we're going to scrunch, it up scrunch. Again. Maybe add a little bit of pink in there. So, since it's such That's a thick a shirt, yeah. I mean, there's so much white. I don't think I put enough dye down when I did that first one. So. Definitely add some more blue. The blue looks really nice. Yeah, I need more blue. Thank you. I love all the earthy kind of tones in it. That's what it's looking like so far. It's good. I definitely think the dye will expand as it goes on, too. Oh, yeah. And then I guess I'll just just do one more on the front and call it good because I'm good with having a lot of white in it. Scrunch it toward the center. I think that rock one would have been fun, but that's so yeah strenuous. My mother, Brittany's grandmother, was giving us tie-dye advice yesterday and tips on you know, different kinds of uh, ways we can do it. And one of the ways that we had already seen on video was... Have you seen this? ...cracking up rocks inside of rubber bands and doing it that way. So... Which is a brilliant pattern, but very time-consuming. Yeah. Is that the brown? That's good. Some more. <laughs> Bring the sun back to O Town with you, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Um, Kelly Holling. Okay. I heard it was pretty nice up there today. Yeah. Almost a high of 70, a record high for this time of year. Okay, so I think this might be good to go. Let's take a peek at what we're looking at so far. Looks good. Yeah, and that should expand out somewhat. It's nice that it doesn't stain the. Um, the no, screen printing on the front. Wrap it up in the back. You heard the bag. You're good to go. So, cool. I think that one's good. So, we'll put it in this bag for about 12 hours or so, 8 to 12 hours, then we'll rinse it out, all of these, until all the dye comes out of the shirt. Okay. Cold water rinse, right? Yes. Alright, Brits, so what are we going to do next? 
Okay. Mm. We bought disposable gloves. If you want to use these, use those, huh? It's fine. So we saw a pattern like this on TV and it came out really cool. Yeah, I don't think I wrapped it right, but either way, it's still going to look nice. It'll look perfect. Yeah. Uh, like love note holding style. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So that triangle comes out in there. Okay. I really like to see if the dye actually soaked under it, but I don't want to move it. That's a good idea. Pretty in pink. Do you think you have enough dye in that? Um, you know, honestly, I'm not sure, but I like the way that that one chick looked in the video with the, like, kind of, it was, like, gradient style almost, like, it was super pink on the top, and then it kind of got bigger uh -huh. as the shirt went on. Yeah. Um, it's hot pink. And if not, I'll have a totally pink shirt. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. Here, you're now camera -driven. So, I've got another one of these that I did. Like I said, I took a t-shirt, laid a string down like that across, and then just right, uh, rolled it up, up tightly like that, and then brought it around like that. Look at that. got tie on it. Brought it around and then pulled them together, which scrunches it up like that. So that's what we're looking at right now. And so the last one I did was pink and turquoise. Or well, was it, it was the, um, I think it was the cer cerulean and brown was the last one you did. No, I, oh, no, I meant the, the one, the first one. The last oh, the one scrunchy. Like it was um, brown and blue, I believe. Oh, no, it was yeah. pink. Maybe I'll do, uh, was that turquoise? Or was that cerulean? It looks more cerulean. Yeah. Maybe I'll do turquoise and brown. That's what I just did, though, on this one, I think. Yeah, but different styles. Yeah. Different tie-ups. It's turquoise and brown. You're asking a triple Libra to make a decision. <laughs> So, thank you. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Turquoise and brown. All right, so let's do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Perfectly imperfect. Perfectly imperfect is best. And I just love the earthy colors of these combinations. 
brown, or turquoise. I think like a, a seafoam green would be nice with the mix too. for 12 hours or so. It's 12 hours. That's good to go. So, already got dye on this one. <laughs> um, let's get rid of this one. I think I have one that already had a... And... Yep. I guess I'm just going to scrunch this one up again, too. <laughs> The beauty of tie dye is it doesn't show when there's stains on it as well. So, yes. <laughs> so I guess ideally we probably should have put like a, a large garbage bag, cut it open, and put that underneath here, maybe. Yeah, I definitely I have dye on the bottom of my shoes. Remind me not to wear these in the house, though. Okay, so. <laughs> I get pink on the bottom. <laughs> Remind me not to wear those inside. Let those dry out. So I'm going to do blue and pink. This, one. this time I'm going to lay it down a little heavier than what I did the last time. So if you're just tuning in, Brittany and I are tie dyeing today. Emergency though going on here. We haven't burned the place down. <laughs> we got a bunch of different t shirts and some different tie dye colors that we're working with. Just really cool colors that seem to go well together. Hand me the paint, please. I think the pink looks really good. I'm excited to see how my triangular one comes out. It's gonna be a full on pink dyed shirt or. Tie dye experts by any means. Yeah, 
I don't think I don't think he can mess it up at all. Alright. And then a little bit more of this on this side. I think we're good to go. I think it looks good. Happy that the screen printing didn't get tie dyed as well. You know, the color stayed true for the screen printing in it. Well, I think that's going to have to be perfect just the way it is. Let's invert the bag. Call it good. So, what we're going to do is So, I'd much rather see you than me. <laughs> We're gonna, what time is it right now, hon? 5.45. So, tomorrow morning. Um, Cause I don't think we're gonna wait. Well, we could do it at one o'clock, but I don't think that that's gonna work. Uh, what we got to do first is we run them through under the sink until the water runs clear and then we uh, wash them in cold water, I believe. But I'm going to make sure. <laughs> and, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So. Yes, this is what we're looking at right now. Um, got quite a mess going on right here. I got a little sunburn today. But uh, that's what we're looking at right now. We're going to check in tomorrow uh, when we... Uh, See an update on how they all turned out. Yeah, after how we rinse them out and stuff. So we'll let you guys see what it looks like tomorrow. Until then, sending you all infinite love and light. This is Greg from N5B.com and Brittany, my daughter. Peace. Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott, and you're looking at my daughter, Brittany, right now. And today is day two of tie-dye. So what we did yesterday, we made these incredible tie-dye shirts. That came out fantastic. The spiral. Wow, good job. Yes. And what you do is, now that they've been sitting for at least 8 to 12 hours, you just got to squeeze out the, the dye in there until it, the water runs clear. So here it is, I don't know, like 9.30 or so. I got up early and uh, I did mine ahead of Brit. So these are the dyes that we use. That's the chocolate brown and the hot pink, the turquoise and the cerulean blue. Yeah. It takes a while to squeeze out the dye. Yes. Now, as we saw yesterday, Brittany used more dye than I did. So what? let me show you. I'll just turn it around real quick. This is what I made yesterday, and it came out really cool. Um, it's kind of like lips <laughs> on here, unintentional. But uh, I like the colors on it. I like having a little white on there, but it's probably too much white. And I'll be going over... Uh, you know, things that I learned, one of the things I learned is use more dye. Um, but let's go to Brett. No, it doesn't. You can see the difference. Definitely. And it'll lighten up too after you dry it. Yeah. I think it looks great.
So I see Candace Craw Goldman is on here with us. And just a reminder to everyone, we're kicking off International Regression Week tomorrow. And uh, Candace and I will be kicking that off on the In5D YouTube channel. So be sure you join us. See, Candace is saying she loves subtle tie dyes. That's mm -hmm. subtle. Very subtle. You got it all out? I believe so. Okay. Anymore. It looks pretty it looks good. Really yeah. So, I'll show you what I did yesterday. This is, uh, I love this one. Brittany called it Cotton Candy. I think that's the appropriate title for it. Uh, this was Turquoise and the Hot Pink, and it looks like Cotton Candy. That's the front. I'll show you the back. light on there so that's what that one came out looking like I really like it now this one the way I did this one was just the scrunch method like this I just scrunched it up and brought it towards the center like that and just sprayed the dye on it and flipped it over and did the same thing on the other side and that's how that one came out I did the same thing on this one this was the uh, turquoise and the brown very earthy and I noticed that it almost gives uh, the brown com uh, combined with the turquoise it almost gave it like a little pinkish purplish on there but I still like that uh, and I did that like I said the same method I did it the scrunchy method this one I had the string on the bottom and I rolled it all up and uh, so you can see the pattern of how that goes across like that and uh, so that one came out pretty cool too. Okay, so Britt's working on number two. Oh, look at that one. I like it. make purple. Now, how, what, what pattern did you do on that one? Um, this I was trying to make. This is my weed one that I really don't like. I don't know. Uh-huh. I saw it on a, one of the Pinterest things. Oh, okay. I I cool. I love it. Love the colors. Yeah. That one was probably easier to get the color out. Yeah, Still there though, yeah. She's got a couple other ones here. This is going to be interesting, the one she did with the triangle. And then this one. Is that this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I like your spiral one. That came out good. I, I really, really like that one. The first one. So you soaked them, and that's what you get. There's like no white in that spiral one, but it still looks great. So another thing that I did that I learned is when we were watching the tutorials, they said that you're supposed to wash them individually in hot water. Well, what I ended up doing is, let me show you. I took this one that I have on, and I washed it with this one because they're similar colors. They have the similar colors in them. So I figured, what the heck? I washed them together. Didn't make a difference. So you can wash, you can wash them together. Likes with likes. Yeah, likes with likes. And that's what we're looking at here with Brett. Let's see. Probably wash that with this and this with that. I don't know. We're going to find out. Yeah. Looking good. good. So. It's first two. She's a pro at this. And here's that pink one. Oh my. It was mainly pink. Uh, yeah. Cool. But it still looks wonderful. I love that. 
That looks outstanding. Good job. This is going to take forever to run out. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of pink in that one. Can't wait to see what these look like dried because the colors come out you know a little bit lighter like like what, what Britt has here um, yeah it's probably gonna end up a little lighter like what you're looking at right here or you know something like that so that's gonna look fantastic for little in 5d Pink tops. Yeah, that's got a lot of pink in it. Okay, it starts all the way through. I thought it was going to turn out mainly white. Hmm. Yeah. That was really cool. All she did was made these little triangle cutouts, put one on top, one on the bottom, and there's a certain way that you can fold it up in triangles. Make a little triangular pattern yeah. on the back of it. Mm -hmm. See, that white. Yeah. I think it looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And diamonds. See, my shirts are bigger and I had to wring them out longer. I used more <laughs> color, so who's really wringing it out longer? That's true. That is true. So another thing that we learned, and we kind of knew ahead of time, is that you really can't mess up tie-dye. Just have fun and do it. Do your research online. There's all sorts of tutorials out there on uh, different ways you can tie-dye, different patterns and stuff like that. <laughs> Candace says the pink one looks like alien eyes. <laughs> you can't you can't really mess up tie dye. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it stays darker and stays lighter. Yeah, well, you definitely use a lot more. I think it'll look more like the cotton candy pink that I have over there. Mm -hmm. So, as I mentioned, what I did was I washed them, you know, the like with the like, this with the one I'm wearing right now, in hot water, uh, small load, hot water, for only six minutes. That was long enough. And I dried them on just regular, normal um, heat. That was already blue and pink. Yeah, that looks great. Good job. Okay, so Brittany did more experimenting on her patterns than I did, so I'm really curious about what this one will look like. It's just gonna be a big blonde. I think they said you're supposed to leave the rubber bands on while you're. What? I know. I have. I've taken all of them off. Okay. Well, that's what they said. Like I said, you can't really mess up tie dye. How would you make sure you got all the ink out? I don't know. That was one of the tips. Just to leave the rubber bands on, but yeah. <laughs> it's like unwrapping Christmas presents, you know? Everyone's loving them. Maybe we'll inspire other people to tie dye. Oh, that's great. Are you kidding me? That's fantastic. Looks like a giant bleach stain. She made that one for Cameron. Oh, yeah, it did turn out that 
Uh huh. No, I wonder what that was. Yeah. Got a lot of dye in that one. A lot of dye. Yes. In one. What does Brittany's T-shirt say on the back? It says, "No rest for the wicked." <laughs> and the front is Sunday. Sunday. Monday. The Red Pub Jug. Is today Sunday? It is Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Lori's saying, you have inspired me. Nice. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of blue in that one. Yep. But you can't really mess it up. Kenny says the pink one looks like pink lightning. Paul is saying it's <laughs> yeah. Paul is saying it's it's the Milky Way on a T-shirt. Yeah. And Selena saying you leave the rubber band on when you rinse so the dye doesn't color the area where the rubber band is. I guess it depends on how soaked they are too in dye. In that one video where the lady submerged it in the yeah. dye, left it submerged in there. In a pot. Gone. Yeah, in a pot of dye solution. That was the triangle one that we saw. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm going to get these two. Together in the washer. We're going to do these two together here. So, like I said, just six minutes on hot. Add a little detergent. Let's take a look at them beforehand. Bear with me on the picture. There's one. And yeah, sorry about the shaky camera angle here. Just want to lay them out while I'm doing this. That's what we're looking at with the first two. How cool are they? Huh. Your mother says hello. <laughs> Oh yeah, Britt says, don't look, one's for you. <laughs> Your mom says, very cool. Yeah, that one's got a lot of work to it, huh? Yeah, but that, that came out really nice. That does Better. look really cool. Rinsed out a little bit. It does look like a, a galaxy. Right, like a star exploding. <laughs> Constance says, I'll buy one. All of mine came out pretty saturated. Yeah. I guess I over dyed and you under dyed. <laughs> or whatever. I think they came out perfect. Exactly the way they should be. Like this blue one, I think it's fantastic. Oh wait, that's, that's the one. That's oops. Mom, don't look. Yes, Bella, don't look. But this one's yours. But this one's <laughs> yours. Little subtle spiral. Yeah, that is so cool. I think it came out fantastic. Your mom's gonna dig it. Kaylee says the Nebula shirt is my favorite. My sister? Yeah. She's watching. Yep, your sister's watching. <laughs> Don't tell Cameron about it. Don't tell Cameron that this is his. <laughs> I can't believe you guys have enough internet to be able to watch. That does look cool. Looks yeah. Behind it too. Yeah. 
A lot of work on this one though. More fabric, a lot of dye. <laughs> Your mom says, I love it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom says she'll buy the bolt one too. The bolt one? No, it's Cameron. <laughs> I think she meant the one that Can uh, Candace was talking about, the lightning. Oh, oh. Yeah, the pink one. No, no Britt says that's hers. <laughs> Yeah, I probably should have waited to put the washer on. It's kind of loud. What? What? Helen says they look fantastic. Good job, Brittany. Got Patrick Cologne from upstate New York watching. A lot of upstate New York representing today. <laughs> I love how that yellow stood out in there. That's so cool. I wish it was a little less blue. <laughs> Debbie says, great workout. <laughs> it is on your, on your forearms. You done? I'm done. Okay, so hold that up. Unfold it. All right. All right, so that's what we're looking at, at on the front. And that's the back. I think that came out like fantastic. Yeah. yeah. That was the one where you spread shirt from the corner to kind of armpit and then you have and then, yeah, you put the rubber bands around. And then hold, hold the blue one up for your mom. <laughs> that she's not supposed to see. This was the spiral one that Britt did. Light little spiral. Yeah. Wow, yeah. I think it's gorgeous. I'm sure you'll see the white one when it dries out. Yeah. It'll lighten up. So, what we'll do... Oh, one other thing I wanted to point out too, you know, things that I've learned. Um, what you can do if you want more pastel colors, I, I saw there's a uh, a tutorial on there where you can actually use food coloring, and it doesn't come out as deep and as dark, but they, it comes out like very pastel colored. So you can use this kind of thing to dye. Um, as I mentioned, like on my shirt, I didn't use enough dye, but I kind of did. You know, it, it came out exactly the way it was supposed to. I love the colors. I probably, you know, if I were to do it again, I'd probably do a little bit more color in there and use a little bit more dye. Wow, this is so green. Is it all on the table? I'm okay with that. And the last thing I learned is that you don't have to wash them individually. Like with like is fine. Like these two together will be fine. We have her other two that are in the washer right now that are washing. Your mom says, I am in love with that, babe. Thank you so much. So, that's what you have so far, and what we'll end up doing is in a couple hours after everything's washed and dried, we'll come back, after it's cleaning up afterwards, but we'll come back with the uh, final results of what they look like dry, so until we come back the next time.
Hi, it's Greg and Brittany. Sending you all and thank a lot of my face. So, namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you, you, you may be. My name's Greg Prescott, and I'm joined by Brittany Prescott, who together we made these amazing tie-dye shirts. So, which one's your favorite, Britt? Um, they're like a cotton candy and the all pink. The cotton candy. So, this one? Yep, and the all pink. And that one. Okay. I kind of like the cotton candy one too. And uh, that pink one's cute. I like this one. And I think the one you made for your mom came out great. But they're all fantastic. Yeah. So I think we did a killer job on this. So what were you saying about things that you might do differently or what you might have learned? Um, sometimes you don't really need all that much dye. And sometimes when you think you have enough, you just do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And the things that, that I learned were that I probably could have used more dye on this one, but it still came out pretty cool. I like it. And that you can wash like colored together for the first wash and it's not going to affect, one's not going to affect the other. What else? That's about it. Uh, so that's it for now. Um, we, uh, we did a killer job here, I think, and, uh, you really can't mess up a tie dye. Can you, Britt? No, not at all. No. It comes out how it's supposed to. Exactly. So that's, that's our final product. I hope you guys enjoyed it and the whole process. And I might do this again here another week or two, get a few more t-shirts and, uh, Give it a shot. Find some new stuff. So I'll just go through one by one. There's that pink one. Came out great. That was the one that Britt put the triangles on. It's a tank top. That kind of kind of looks like lips up here. This one looks like cotton candy. Came out really cool. We got this one, the earthy colors on both of these with two different patterns. That was the scrunch pattern. And that was the... It was rolled up from the bottom. And then the blue tank top that Brittany made for her mom. And this one's for Brittany's boyfriend, Cameron. And this one came out really cool too. I like that. So that's what we got. So until the next time, this is Greg and Brittany sending you all infinite love and light. Peace.